Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Evelia Sadulio, a teacher in profession whose passion is to do video tutorial. And today, as I have promised on my last video, I will be teaching you how to use one of the features of the Picosmos tool. This time, I will be using editor in editing a photo. Let's see if I can improve the, the picture. And as you can see, we have here similarity with that of the Adobe Photoshop because of this tool here. And of course, the difference is we have is a way of uh, editing the brightness, the saturation, and there is an addition of filter, addition of material, and of course, the addition of frame. Okay, let us now open a file file picture and I will be selecting the one which is darker in color so I can lighten up let's see if I how can I improve this picture as you can see the picture is not uh, that very clear on the person of course let's see if what will happen if we will do something let's say want to resize this you can just click this one if you want to resize if not there's no need so just click also and drag and then you move on the desired size that you want and then after that if you are okay click okay be sure that you crop it freely if you want to uh, just uh, crop it in any way Okay, then let's see I want to lighten the picture so I will increase the brightness by clicking light shadow and brightness to see the picture I will just move it here okay I will now increase the brightness you can either move this one click and drag or you can just manually click it slowly in the upper part for increasing and down decreasing and then let us see i increase already the brightness and still not a good photo to look at i can increase the contrast okay let's see how the change will be now okay as you can see the color of the dress now visible and then I will highlight, increase more the brightness. Okay, there. And another one for the contrast. Okay, it's now more uh, beautiful than the other one. Okay, we lighten up. And I guess I need to more add contrast. Okay, I think that's much better than before. Then just click OK. And uh, you do some color balance. You can do it by just clicking again light shadow. And then let us say want to add some uh, filter. You can remove the fog. Let's see what will happen if I will remove the fog. Okay, just click OK. You can also do some denoising. You can also do some lens flare. Or you can even add sunshine. Let's see the result if we'll add some sunshine. Is it good or not? If you think it's much better, I can just click OK. Let's say you are already good at that. Next is to add some material. You can choose among the materials listed here. You can have sweet, sweet, awesome, cute. Just click this one and plus. And there you have it. Okay, there. So if you want to move that, for example, just click that one and this one. 
and click jog. You can resize it also by clicking this one here. Moving that there. Okay, you can place it anywhere you want. Okay, let us see that that way. Okay, just click outside and there. And if you want to add some frame, just click there and choose the best one that we should think is the best uh, frame. I think I like the first one. Uh, we have here some styles. You can add that one or this one. Let's see this one. Uh, to see, let us also move this one up. Okay, you can adjust the size of the okay there. Okay, beautiful. Okay, that's it. Just click OK. And there you have it. It's now very good to look at. You can uh, you can already print this one if you have a printer. If you are connected to a printer, you can just click this one here, print. And there you can determine the size of the photo and then you can set up the print. Then just click OK. You already have the picture. And if you want to... To save, of course, not forgive. Get to save your picture. Okay, that is how I use the Picosmos tool in editing a photo. And as you can see, you can add different materials. You can enhance the photo by adding frame materials and whatsoever. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope uh, you will subscribe to to view more of my or to watch more of my videos in the future do not forget to like if you think this video is very good thank you very much for watching see you on my next video bye bye